We are here at Hy-Vee with dietitian Katie George, and she's gonna walk us through some recipes for Halloween this year. So there is nothing more that I love than a themed holiday party or themed recipes. And anybody that has come into counter with me is usually like, oh, she's gonna have Valentine's Day something at her house or Halloween. I love themes, I love holidays. But as a dietitian, we want to also keep it healthy. So Halloween truly is all about the sweets and the treats. And so we can control the health aspect um, by coming up with some fun, snacks and or meals, depending on how you're using it. And I'm gonna showcase a few of those today. So Halloween, my favorite, candy corn. Very debatable, right? Oh, people, <laughs> you either love or you hate candy corn. So we're gonna make a little twist and we're gonna throw a healthy twist onto candy corn. So the colors of yellow, orange, and white, we are gonna make a candy corn parfait. So clear cup, absolutely. You have to be able to see through it to see all the beautiful colors. So on the bottom is going to be our yellow. We are simply using some canned pineapple. If you have fresh, go for it. But these are cut up into what I would call spoon sized pieces. So when you go, you can go ahead and just um, get it on a spoon. So about a third of the cup is gonna be filled with the yellow pineapple. From here, we're gonna use mandarin oranges. And I have just peeled some mandarin oranges. This is where you put your kids to work, have them do a little bit of the work. Um, but we are going to put about a third of the cup full with mandarin oranges. And again, you just wanna peel them into the segments so that they are going to be spoon size. I will just say these little mandarin oranges are incredibly easy to peel. If you give it a, just a little quick roll, um, it releases the, the um, peel from the orange and it makes it incredibly easy for the kids to just dig their fingers in and peel pretty darn quick. So this is what I do for my kids, they love to help participate. So have them do the peeling for sure. And then from here, the white. So the white of the candy corn is going to be our protein. And we are just using some vanilla Greek yogurt. The so vanilla Greek yogurt, again, we're gonna put in about a third of the, of the way full, but this truly is, is what is gonna make it a meal or a snack. It's gonna be incredibly filling. It's gonna keep your kids full. It's gonna keep them not from craving maybe as many sweets. And so we have our yellow, our orange, and our white. If you so choose, you can do a little dollop of the Cool Whip on top. I know that is always the, the highlight of my children. And then adding just a few pieces of candy here can be just that um, way to make it look a little additional holiday-y. So from here, candy corn parfait. That looks Done. so yummy. And you can make these ahead of time. So I've taken them to a holiday party before for my kids at school. I prepped them all ahead of time um, and they it worked totally fine. So. Wow, okay, we eat something, we can't forget what to drink. Well, we absolutely have to do that. So we are gonna do a little blended orange Julius and the orange Julius can really be made as you want, but really the basis is going to be about a um, half of a container of just frozen orange juice. So nothing crazy about this. If you don't have frozen orange juice, you can use regular orange juice. You just might need to add a little extra ice. So into the blender, I have put half of the container of the frozen orange juice. From there, you are going to use some milk. Regular milk works. I chose to use Fairlife milk, again, just up the ante a little bit. And this is gonna be a little less sugar and a little bit more high protein. So into the blender is gonna be about a cup of milk. We're gonna add some vanilla to just give it a little flavor. So into the container is going to be some vanilla. And then if you choose, you can use some uh, like a pinch of sugar. The recipe does call for sugar. And while it's not terrible, um, it, I don't think it needs a fourth of a cup as it calls for, but you can also take any of your leftover orange segments and throw those in as well for just a little bit extra fruit. From there, lid goes on. I'm gonna spare you the, the blending. Um, and so the, the lid goes on, you're gonna blend it up. And then what I've done is had some decorated cups. So make a clear cup, decorate it like a jack-o'-lantern. And then with the orange Julius, it's going to fill up 
look like a pumpkin from behind and kids just get so excited about this. So this can be taken in the car, used as breakfast in the morning or um, just as a, as a themed party. It's just incredibly fun, great way to get your kids involved. Perfect, and it's healthy too. For sure, so um, both of these are fruit filled. They have uh, protein with either the yogurt or the milk and um, can definitely be a pre trick or treating um, meal or snack. Perfect. Well, I'm going to enjoy my orange Julius and we're going to send it back to you in the studio for more recipes um, that Katie has provided to us. You can go to Nebraska.tv.